Hi everyone, here is Akta and welcome back for more Infinite Magic Red content and today let's go for another summoning session. As always, this is a record from my French video, as you can see here, if, if I push myself, you can see my ugly face here, blah blah blah. Sometimes I'm gonna push myself so you, you will be able to see my real reactions here. Uh, this can be interesting, okay? So, as I said on my previous video, I'm doing this uh, for now uh, because I really love to show my real reactions and I cannot be more real as when I am talking in French, so this is the reason why I'm doing this, okay? So, don't talk too much, let's go in the content. But before, as always, if you enjoy my content, please like, comment and subscribe, thank you so much. Okay, so as you can see here, I had a lot of summons, a lot of excellent ones, and normally I had enough to uh, reach one PT, the first one, because I needed only uh, 128, if I remember correctly, and then I have 20 Supreme Stones, and my PT here is at the beginning, I have to reach 15 stones, 15 uh, summons before reaching the PT, so we will see if I get lucky enough. But before, let me show you you hear the heroes I uh, I wanted, so I was pretty sure I would have Elena as a first uh, hero because on my previous summons I had only bleeders and this is the only bleeders that I don't have yet on my global account. This is why I was pretty sure I was gonna have her, but you will see who I have. So then, here on this faction, I would love to have Fiona because she is an amazing support for the arena, she is immune to controls and she can stun in AoE, she can also cleanse all debuffs from one ally. This can be decisive in many situations against um, Nazak, against, sorry, Asindo or Nazil, etc. against controller heroes. Uh, why not Olga? Because she's a decent um, damage dealer for this faction. Why not? Here, as you can see, I don't have Hezonja. I want him really, really bad, so he could help me to push Dungeons 30, because at the moment I'm not farming them uh, yet, okay? I'm just like maybe Dungeons 28, 29, and in the Artifact Dungeons, 28, 28 Nejia, approximately, and 26 Growlin and 25 Marius only. So maybe his Anja could help me here. So um, yeah, I really want him. And you have Amelia on this banner, on the raid sub, and this is uh, the only hero I want on the banner, okay? I have only her with zero exclusives, so if I can get exclusives on her, it will be really, really great. And then you have also Yoko. Yoko is interesting, I think, because I'm building a team for the faction uh, Sword Harbor, and at the moment I, I have Ben Austin, Sigmund and Catherine, so Yoko can be a nice a hero to bring with my team, but I won't, if I have her, I won't build her soon, because I have a lot of priorities before her. Then you have Hizaro. I have, he, I have him already with zero exclusives. With the first one, he becomes really, really interesting, so why not? Because with the first exclusive, he can trigger bleed damage on his second ability here. So this is interesting. And uh, other heroes. Here I would love to have a focus uh, for uh, this faction and also for dungeons. And why not in the arena? He is an amazing hero. And I still don't have a Sindo, so yeah, I, I want her, I want her, I want to have her. Timmy is also a great hero, I would love to have Timmy. Let me go back here. Timmy is a nice solution for dungeons. He can lower the speed with the basic attack, 40% speed down on the boss. It could be really nice. And also he can lower the attack rate, uh, the attack by 40% and the crit rate by 50%. Put him, put this on the boss and then you are safe. You are, you are safe as hell. This is a great hero. 
And finally, I would love to have Slivel here for my guild boss because at the moment I'm using Mutu. Mutu has almost the same damage than uh, as her, but uh, he increases only 20% uh, attack of my other allies, and Slivel uh, does it uh, by 40%. This is the reason why I want her to increase my damage because I am planning to have a a really high amount of damage in one run in order to increase my overall damage once I unlock the guild boss number 6. Okay, so I think this is all and let's hope to have some heroes here on the banner so I can have some rewards here. It could be interesting at least to get the eye. Okay, so let me accelerate it and Let's go. Let's begin with 10 pulls. First one, Mori. Mori is a nice epic. He He's nice to start the game. He deals a lot of damage single target, can slow enemies, and he is stealth. Frey is a great hero epic one for the blue mark tower and for the arena against the shielders such as uh, Catherine because he can hit through the shield and he has better damage on strongest sh on stronger shields. So this is a great hero. Verto is also a great choice because he can lower the enemy's attack by 40% and he increases uh, the effect hit of your heroes, a, a, a decent amount of effect hit to your heroes with his passive, he is a nice hero to bring with your team and especially for uh, the faction abyss. And yeah, this is another copy of Kultum. This is nice because I wanted her. I don't want to spend epic highs on the heroes I am building because epic highs are really nice to uh, upgrade your legendary exclusives but here this is my second exclusive on her I'm playing her so I am really happy with that and also Fagan here is a decent epic unit uh, he can help you at the beginning of the game and also in endgame arena uh, to sustain against teams uh, with Margarita etc because at the beginning of the wave if you have his second exclusive he can apply a 60% dev bonus on your hero so this is a great choice Naya is also a decent unit. If you plan to use a nuker team, she can apply a defense down on all enemies and she is an epic unit, so this is a great choice. Lester is nice. At the beginning, he has 100% crit rate every 4 turns and at the big, um, on the first turn of the wave. Mu is also a nice. Uh, a nice burner, nobody uses him at the moment, but yeah, in a burner composition, I'm pretty sure he is really decent. Uh, same for this uh, hero here. He is a decent burner hero uh, who deals more damage, uh, more burn damage thanks to his skill. So this is nice. Guna is also a decent burner hero, burner hero, and then you have Reeves. Reeves is a great bleeder in the game. He can apply a lot of bleed, self counter attack, and yeah, this is this is a, a decent hero. Let's continue. There I have Luff. I'm happy to have him because uh, I was planning to build him for the Blue Mark Tower because I have all the best supports in the game, uh, Blue Mark once. So this is a great HP burners in the game, especially for the Blue Mark Tower. Uh, also, you have Sylvan here, right here between my two heads uh, here. He is a nice unit uh, because uh, he can increase the resistance of all your heroes, uh, heal them a bit with exclusives, and apply a shield so yeah he is a decent unit uh, if you are planning to build r units with resistance for the arena he can be a nice choice okay I have a Pacino behind my head here this is a Pacino this is not a great hero in my opinion you can have better than him he is a shielder, can apply some decent buffs to your heroes, such as attack bonus 20% and speed plus 20%, but he is not a great one. Okay, it seems like everybody wants to pop here. Uh, this is Sylve uh, Sylvester. 
I don't remember his name. He is a great epic single target DPS. He can increase the crit rate damage of all your heroes, so th he is nice. And one more time, another hero here, Magis. He is not a great support. He is decent for the Red Mark Tower if you don't have other healers, but he won't heal that much. Otherwise, or maybe he needs a lot of exclusives, and even with exclusive, I don't think this is a great choice to do the campaign at the beginning. And finally, okay, I have Gru, look at my face here. Yeah, I was a bit disappointing because disappointed because I didn't want I didn't expect this uh, hero here. Uh, this is a nice hero if you have three exclusives on him. So this is my uh, first exclusive for him. But I wasn't expecting to have him. It's a, a hero outside of the banner. I will have loved to get another hero, but not him. So this is not a great pool for the first legendary hero but this is okay i have a lot of more pools here as you can see so maybe i will have better uh, this unit is not a great one uh, she can, she's immune to silence and can apply a silence on enemy, but this is all. Uh, Sinov is a great uh, healer in the game. She is also a counter to uh, Nazil because she is immune to freeze. Once she is exclusive to, she get extra turn meter if someone try to inflict a freeze on her. And she can also uh, boost the turn meter of your other allies. So she can counter Nazil and also she is the only healer you can have for the faction dragon tribe so she is like she is nice you can have vera to heal in the dragon tribe but she is she is a legendary hero and she is a bad one so uh, vidar is nice for the eternal sect faction he can apply consolidation one and shield on all your allies he, he can also stun enemies he is a great unit for the faction or to start the game, uh, because it is decent to have such a good shield and a consolidation. The Chanel is a great unit to bring against uh, Gwyneth, because she has 100% chance, no matter your effect hit and the resistance of the enemy, to apply a silver wand. So 80% less heals on the boss. This is nice. And also, if you are pushing the uh, Green Mark Tower uh, only with AoE, attacks such as Hezenja for example if you have her you will be able to kill the boss who heals himself uh, thanks to uh, the thanks to the heal block this is nice Okay, I have Norma. This is great because I wanted her to remove the shield on the Blue Mark Tower. I feed the previous one copies of her I had on my account, so this is great to have her again. I'm gonna build her at least maybe uh, not more than Awaken 2 or Awaken 3. It will depend if she can survive with my supports in the Blue Mark Tower, but I'm gonna use her only for uh, the shield removal. And there you have a bleeder, but this is not a great bleeder. She can apply some when she dies, but this is not great. Lomas is one of the best bleeder in the game. Trust me, once he is exclusive free, he can detonate the bleeds using his ultimate. And also without exclusives, he can apply up to eight bleeds if you are lucky enough using only one skill on one single target. This is a great bleeder to have on your team. Uh, maybe one of the best in the the game a single target he is nice I'm pretty sure he does the job on the guild boss Justy is another great solution for uh, Gwyneth because he can apply Silver Wand on each turn, if I remember correctly, thanks to his passive. So he is a nice solution. And also he has decent uh, coefficient, attack coefficients on his skills. So he can be a nice solution against Gwyneth and maybe on the Red Mark Tower if you have only AoE DPS. Okay, let's do the 10 last pulls. Sadora. Sadora is one of the best units to sustain in the arena because if you have her exclusive free, uh, your allies at the beginning of the t of the wave will have a 25% uh, direct damage reduction. This is the highest damage uh, direct damage reduction in the game. She is great, and also she has a lot of AOE attacks. She can silence and apply silver ones, so she is really really great. 
And let's do the last one. So only one PT this time. A daily is also a great unit. Not one to build at the beginning of the game, but she is immune to turn meta reduction and she can increase the turn meta of all your allies by 24%. This is one of the best turn meta boosts in the game. And also she deals a lot of damage a single target using her ultimate here. She has 30% more crit rate on her ultimate once she is exclusive 3. She can lower the turn meta of a single target unit. This this is great. So 51 before the next PT. Maybe I'm gonna have this on the weekend. So I probably I will record another video. So now I want to go with only uh, one pulls. Single pulls. Yeah, this is important. So another move, okay? And let me push myself. You want to see my face. Look at this. And Oh, it seems like I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, and I'm really happy to have him. Uh, this is my second copy of him, so that means exclusive one. I need two more exclusives and he will become brilliant. This is one of the best burner hero in the game. He deals so much damage using his ultimate in the arena. This is a king. This is a great unit to bring in the arena. And once he is exclusive three, he will uh, increase the damage received by a burns on enemies uh, by 25% with a debuff. This is a great unit. Okay, so Guna. I have other epic units and now I'm really happy because I cut the PT and I have enough to reach at least a second legendary hero. So, let's continue. Waynex. Let's do one more. Wynex is a decent unit. He can revive an, an ally and give him back his cooldowns. He can be really nice in some specific situation to take advantage on the enemy. If you revive a, a strong DPS unit such as Lucifer, for example, maybe you can kill someone in the opponent team. Kaido. I like Kaido. He is really, really interesting because he can shield, he can stun in AoE, uh, he can immortal himself and also using his ultimate, uh, he can uh, remove stealth on enemies. That means he is one of the counter of Lucifer. He is really nice. He can also increase some stats such as effect res, healing effect and shield effect on your allies with his passive. This is pretty nice. This is pretty nice. One of the best supports in the game and this is an epic hero. Yeah, he is great. Maybe in the future I'm gonna build him. So let's continue. Pacino. I don't care about Pacino. I want more than Pacino. Magis is not that great, as I said before. Roselia, not that great. Oh, look at this. Look at my face. And I am happy. I'm really happy one more time because I wanted her. This is the only hero I wanted on the banner and I had her. So now I have the first exclusives on her. And just two more to go. The second one is really nice for the dungeons against waves because she will be able to apply an HP burning on all enemy when she will transform in Valkyrie. This is amazing. But the third exclusive is a cheated on her. Uh, this is really amazing. She can deal so much more damage using HP burning with the third exclusive. So I really want her. Exclusive three. So seven more to go. Seven more to go. Maybe I will have another hero, another legendary hero. It would be great. Yeah, by the way, I'm a bit sorry because when I move myself right before having the legendary hero, it's a bit like a spoil, isn't it? I am sorry. For the next one, I won't move. 
So yeah, here I was talking about Fizz because in my opinion he is one of the best burner hero in the game because once he is exclusive 3, uh, exclusive 1, or I don't remember, when he is, once he is um, skilled up, sorry, at the beginning of the wave he will apply a burn on all enemies. So if you play him with another uh, AoE burner hero, uh, you will be able to detonate the burns on the first turn and this is one of the strongest combo in the game to nuke enemies. This trust me this is great and also on his basic attack he has one of the most a percentage chance to apply a burn and an, a new hero and this is Ariel so I'm happy to have her because I had other heroes before but I won't build her soon okay I have priorities and this is not definitely not one of the best heroes in the game she is a really decent unit direct damage one but I have better options at the moment. If you have only her as a direct damage hero, this is a great choice. But if you have other heroes, uh, such as Lucifer, etc., she becomes, she becomes less effective. Okay, two more to go. Can I get something else? Okay, guy, you have to click. And okay, Oboro, nice to start the game because he is decent direct damage dealer on single target. He can apply feebleness and also steal himself. So yeah, this is nice. Accelerate. Come on, Actar, accelerate. Click on the button. Okay, and finally, the, the last one is Naya. So 12 more to go before the next PT. This is okay. But as you can see this time, I had enough to reach at least the epic eye. This is nice. Uh, so I'm close to have uh, the potions here. I need only two more epics. Uh, maybe on the weekend, I, I will try to have more excellent wishes so I can reach another PT during the weekend. And maybe I will have enough. Uh, to finish the event. So what do we have in the gallery? 500 more uh, diamonds on the event. I was able to finish this one easy because I had a lot of uh, legendary heroes. So this is nice. I needed some scrolls for my next legendary hero. And then let me uh, summarize. So I had the first exclusive on Melia, which is great. I'm really happy to have it. She is a really great, a, re a really strong unit. You already know about this, so you know the, why I am happy to have her. Um, then, uh, then, then, then. Then I had Another copy of Gru, so exclusive one. Another copy of Gunner, so exclusive one too. And this is all. So now I'm gonna build my love. Because I don't have enough uh, legendary skill, uh, skill ups to build my next legendary hero. This is the reason why I'm building an epic one. This is what I do on my account. Tell me what are you doing on your account on in comments below. But here, when I don't have the resources to build a legendary hero, I switch on an, an, on an epic one. So this is this time, this is time to build love. So I'm putting everything I can on him. And next, I'm gonna focus his aura and also his uh, emblems. Uh, personally, I want to build him and to build Queenlan in order to uh, push the Blue Mark Tower because I'm only on stage 20 at the moment on Blue Mark Tower and I, I'm pretty sure I can reach uh, the stage 30 with my blue mark heroes. So I really want to make a video on the th all the stages of blue mark tower. Okay, so this is it. And normally if I go right after on the sanctuary, I get an increase in stats here. This is amazing. As you can see here, I get 2% 2, 2 attack, more attack and 500 defense bonus. This is also amazing. So I have some achievements. Get some more d gems. 
close to have a bit more uh, summons, excellent wishes, uh, have more potions here. And also normally on this event, I get more uh, excellent wishes, so maybe I'm gonna make another, I'm definitely gonna make another m multi here, another 10 pools. So I need only four more, so I'm gonna buy some on the market. Yeah, because I'm like this. When I, when I want some summons, I waste my event points here to buy some and some gems sometimes. It happens. So now I have another 10 pools. So let's do this and finish the video on this. So I will need only 41 more wishes to get another legendary hero because as you can see here, I didn't got lucky on the neck on the last 10 pulls. So this is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have been really lucky. If it's the case, please like, comment and subscribe and then see you in the next one. Bye bye. Infinite Magic Raid. Play to slay.